All right. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Of course, I have my chat turned off. Usually I have the chat on and you guys can let me know, but maybe just pop it into a Q&A question if you can't hear me. Um, of course, that doesn't make sense because if you can't hear me, you wouldn't hear me just say that. <laughs> anyway, I am Jackie Summerall tate and I'm very excited to be here with you today. And the um, reason that I'm doing this online workshop is because I did kind of the same idea live and in person and it was a lot of fun. We had some people show up and they, um, you know, at the end of it, uh, half the class left with either, or I should say half the class left with their um, holiday card campaign completed, but they had some things that they needed to do. You know, they wanted to find just the right picture, just, you know, get their message just right, that type of thing. And so they had the bones of their campaign with a goal to get it sent out uh, in the next week or two. And then the other half of the class, it was a lot of fun because I actually got to go over and help them click send. And we watched as, you know, then it came up and said, the, you just made the world a better place and their holiday cards were done. In fact, I had one person in there, she did an entire holiday campaign. So um, she had her Thanksgiving card, a kind of generic Christmas type card, uh, and then a Valentine's Day card. So she had all three of those cards set up in the campaign and clicked send. And that was a ton of fun because we watched as, you know, she had, I think, 166 people who were going to get that campaign. And so she had her entire client base taken care of through February. So exciting. And so that's what we're doing here today. I know a lot of times the whole point of this webinar is a lot of times we just don't set aside the time and we get super stressed out. And then before we know it, even having a great system like send out cards, we're still kind of scrambling towards the end. So this way we can get this um, very important holiday task just checked off off our plate, have everything set and ready to send uh, before Thanksgiving. So that doesn't mean you have to send your cards out before Thanksgiving because we can schedule them to go out whenever you want them to go out. And we'll talk a little bit more about that if you're not familiar with that feature. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So the first thing, if you're here today, hopefully you watched the first three videos. And if you're watching the replay and you haven't watched the first three videos, then I want to encourage you, there's a link below you'll be able to click on. Go ahead and pause this one. Watch those other ones. Let's make sure you have everything up and running. But if you showed up today having watched those, then you're going to have three things ready to go. You're going to have your... Um, contact list complete completed and ready now if you're already if you already have your contacts in your send out cards relationship manager then there's really nothing to do but we will look at how do you put those into a specific group because um, creating groups gets a little bit challenging with the new system it's not quite intuitive as to how do you create the new group and put your people into it so we'll just look at that to make sure we've got the right group and then also we're going to take a quick very quick look at if you need to put them into an excel spreadsheet and upload them we're going to take a really quick look at that but we're not going to spend a lot of time on it and so that's number one is having your contacts number two was coming today with your photos and your message already completed because sometimes when you're sitting in a workshop like this that takes a little bit of time so as you're sitting there and you're thinking like well, what do i want to say now for those of you who uh, watched the videos or who have just, you know, been in one of my live events lately, you'll know that I create several different campaigns for my um, holiday cards. So I have, I'm in real estate. So I have a campaign that I send out to all of my past real estate clients. And I do two separate campaigns for that. So I have one that I send out to just all my past clients, referral partners, people I've done business with in real estate over the years. But then I have a special campaign that I create for the people that I have sold, either sold a house to or helped sell their house or just investors that I work with. And um, I have a special campaign that goes out to them if I've helped them with that process just within the last 12 months. So every year um, those folks get brownies plus the card. And then, you know, if I haven't closed business in the last 12 months, they just get the card. So those are two different campaigns. 
Then I have a third campaign that I send out to my send out card customers and referral partners. And um, then I have a fourth one that I send out to my family. So for today, I haven't created my family one yet. So we're going to focus, I'm going to be using that as my um, demo, if you will. But I, I tell you that because I want to encourage you that you don't have to have just one campaign to go out to your entire database because sometimes that's a little intimidating. And that's one of the beautiful things about send out cards. It's not, it's not going to cost you any extra to create all those different campaigns and have different messages that go out to different groups of people. Unlike if you have to order cards through, um, you know, Shutterfly or at Costco or something like that, or if you just pick up generic cards off the shelf, now it's kind of the same message. So that's one of the awesome things about send up cards. So you came with your message ready, you came with your um, contacts uploaded or in an Excel spreadsheet, and you also um, have sent at least sent out one card on the car send out card system. So especially if you're watching right now, you have yet to send out um, a card on the send out card system, you want to definitely make sure you do that. So let me um, post over here. I am going to put, if you haven't done it yet, in the Facebook group, I'm going to go ahead and post the link where you can go. So there's, there's the link right now. I just posted it on Facebook. Um, you can go onto that link and send out a card right now. And so that would be kind of fun. And then you can get all caught up. Um, okay. Hi, Tracy. I see you on the Facebook page. <laughs> um, all right. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. And like I said, on the webinar, I've got the Q&A panel um, set up. So if you have any questions as we go through these things, make sure you go ahead and put it on there. And then if we have um, any questions on Facebook, I'll be kind of just popping over there from time to time to double check. So, all right, so let me share my screen and get going here. Okay, awesome. All right, so we've got the screen up right now. We've got our Send Out Cards account up and running. And so we're going to do this in sort of bite-sized chunks, if you will. The very first thing that I want to make sure that we do is we have to get our contacts in order. So we're going to come in here and you're going to go over, if you see my mouse over here, you're going to see where it's clicking on relationships. So we're going to click on that. Now, when you're in your relationships, you got to understand, like I have had, um, I have had this account since 2007. You can hear my dog. She's scratching the floor right now. <laughs> um, so I've had this account since 2007. So I've got a lot of people in my contact database and a lot of different groups and a lot of moving pieces. So sometimes that can get super... Um, okay, Ruby. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's always fun when you've got, I, I forgot to put her outside before I started. <laughs> um, so what you want to do now, here's a couple of things. If you do not have your contacts up and ready to go, um, here is the basic um, format that you want to look at. Now I can email you this. So just send me an email at card everyone at gmail.com and just put something about the, um, send out cards, Excel spreadsheet in the subject line, and then I'll know to email this to you. So, but you can, you know, clearly see if you're good with, uh, if you're good with Excel and things like that, all you have to do is set these up just like this. Now, here's the thing. If you are going to set this up yourself, make sure you're paying attention to the, um, you know, where the, where the lowercase and where the capital letters are. It does kind of make a difference. I think they may have fixed it where it will still um, pull it through, but this is just your best bet to have everything set up for the database that send out cards has. So in here, you would just type each, um, each field the way that, you know, obviously you want it to appear on the cards themselves. And then you're going to upload those in here. So you can see right here is an import contacts. And then it's literally as easy as um, taking that sample. So you, if you double click on that, you would find, you know, you go into here, you would find that you would upload it. Um, and move forward. So the great thing is, is that once you do upload it, then you get to um, 
put all of your fields. It gives you that option to put all your fields there. Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because the goal of this webinar is to actually get our holiday cards created and sent. So if you have questions about that, again, feel free to email me at cardeveryone at gmail.com or leave a, a thing in the Facebook group, the Card Everyone 30 Day Challenge Facebook group, and um, I can definitely help you out with that. It's not a problem. But for today, if we need to um, skip over this part, if you don't have that uh, completed yet, that's okay. Uh, but just so you know, that's kind of where you where you start from, okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to go back to our relationships, though. And now let's say you're like me and you've got this whole list of people that are already in your um, Send Out Cards Manager. So how do you put them into the group that you want them to have? Well, what we will do is, and I'll just, I'll pick on... I'll pick on Jordan and kind of use him as the, um, as the, you know, guinea pig for the, <laughs> for the database. So um, if you, once you click on, you know, you can click on one name, you can click on a bunch of different names. Once you click on a name, you're going to come in here and you're going to click on add to group. So it's not super intuitive as to where you would add those groups. So that's why let's do that one more time. That's not going to be once you, um, Oops, once you check on that person, so you put everybody, you go through your database and you check on all the people that you want to send your holiday cards to. And then you're going to come up here and it's just these three little dots and you're going to click on add to group. Now, when that comes up, all of your groups that are already created are going to show up right here. Now, I think I've already created a um, holiday group card sending, but we're going to do, I'm going to do a brand new one because I'm going to create this for friends and family holiday 2018. So that's usually how I create my groups. I make sure that I segment it. So I have a group that is business holiday card or real estate business holiday cards, send out cards, holiday cards, friends and family. But I always make sure I put 2018 because every year I go through these and create kind of a new group because things definitely change. So I created the group. I'm going to go ahead and submit it. And there we go. So I can go through here. I could pick out my other friends and family. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can always check your groups by clicking up here and you can see what groups that you have set up. And then down here, I mean, obviously all of these kind of come through. You can scroll through them. You can see your different ones. But here's my friends and family. Um, so I can come in here and edit members. If I need to take Jordan out of there, I can remove it. But to add the people, then I'm going to go back to um, my contacts, scroll through the contacts, add them to the group the way that we looked at it. So go ahead and take a minute to just do that really quick. And then what I am going to do is check the Facebook group, make sure we see if we have any questions going on over here. Okay. All right, so let's say you went ahead, you went through all of those, you added, for now you can just do a couple of people on there depending on how big your list is. I mean, like you kind of saw in my relationship manager, I have over 1,800 people in there. So I definitely take some time, go through it, make sure I've got the right uh, group of people there. So what I will do after this webinar is I'll go back into that group and I'll make sure I add every single person that I really want to make sure is in that friends and family. They're going to get a more personalized note from me um, instead of a more business focused uh, message. So we've got that done. You've got that step taken care of. And you two can also go back and towards the end of this webinar, when I stop recording, we're going to go on there and actually add some more people in if we need to do that and all that good stuff. But the point is, is that if you're spending some time with me here today, I really do want to make sure that when we finish, you are completely done and you've got your card sent out. So we'll come back to this step later, but we'll keep rolling right now because we want to get to the fun part. The fun part is creating the actual card itself. So hopefully 
you all know how to send out a card on the system because like we said before, we've either um, sent out your free card or you're already a Send Out Cards user uh, watching, this, watching this webinar. So here's what we're gonna do. To send out your holiday card, you can do this one of a few different ways. If you wanted to just come into your card catalog, so you hit here, that's where I'm at right now, it's just at the card catalog. If you wanted to just come to the card catalog, you could certainly come down here, pick your holiday card, you could create it right now, and then you could just add all the people that you wanted to at the end with the checkout. That's one way to do it. And I don't recommend that though, okay? Because there's a better way to do this on send out cards where you can save it and then let's say you forget a few people in your original sending, you can go back in and you can just send out that same card again and that's called creating a campaign. So if you're super familiar with send out cards, then you already know how to do this. If you don't, if you're brand new to send out cards and you don't know how to create a campaign, we're gonna go through that. But either way, we're just gonna walk through the steps together so that by the time you're done, you'll have your holiday card. So the place to start is we're gonna come over here where it says campaigns. Now, here's the thing I always tell people, don't freak out when you create your campaign and then you come back and visit and a lot of times people will say, oh my gosh, I don't know um, where my campaign went. Look over here in your upper left corner and you have two different tabs. You have purchased campaigns and my campaigns. The purchase campaigns are campaigns that you have downloaded from the Send Out Cards campaign store. In other words, these were already created and all you had to do is personalize them a little bit and then send them out. So these are my purchase campaigns, but if you click on my campaigns, that's where it's gonna show you um, the campaigns that you already have. So let's go into this one. This is the one that I already created and you can kind of see um, this is the one that I did for my real estate clients. Now, I'm a realtor in Flagstaff, Arizona. And so this is just kind of a little bit of an arty picture that I took one day just hanging out downtown. And, um, and then I popped it into the um, one of the photo drop cards. And so you can kind of see that. So you come in here. I've got a picture of my family. It just says, from my family to yours. And would you guys believe, let me just take a second here. <laughs> This picture is literally the only family photo that I can find from 2018. And that's what happens when you have two teenage daughters who don't let you take pictures very often. Um, so I have some pictures of just them, but barely any. Uh, so this is my only family photo, which is kind of a bummer because this, I was really super ill in that picture, but we were in Mexico. So that's, so I, it's not my favorite picture of me but whatever. Okay. Rant over. <laughs> so then you come over here and you've got your message and I've got my signature on it, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then this has my, because this is going out to my real estate people. This has my real estate branding on the back. This is the one that has the brownies in it with, um, you know, for my, uh, clients that I did business with this year. So to create a new campaign, all you have to do is be in the campaigns. doesn't matter if you're unpurchased or mine, but you come over here and you've got the big plus sign. Let me check Facebook really quick, see if we have any questions. Nope, we're all good. Okay. So first we're going to create a campaign. And so this is the fun of it. This is it. We're creating these holiday cards right now. So I'm going to name this one um, Holiday 2018 Family and Friends. So whatever you name this one, however you name it, this is where you're going to find it later. But we're going to go ahead and create campaign. So when you create campaign, it's going to default to this and you're going to go ahead and click on add a card. Now, if you did the homework ahead of time, you've already got whatever photos you want to put into the card and you have your message created already as well, where you either typed it out completely or you hand wrote it and then you can just type it in here so to make life super easy. All right, so you can come down here. Now, at this point, it's just like creating any card on Send Out Cards. So you have your card collections and your catalog, or you can come up here and you can type what you're searching for. But for our purposes today, we're just going to click on the holiday cheer because that's going to bring us into all this stuff. Now, 
you have it in your head what um, holiday campaign you want to create. So if you want to do New Year's cards, a lot of a lot of years I actually have in the past just done New Year's. I just kind of skipped right on over some of the other holidays and went right into New Year's. But we're getting these done quick enough, right? So we don't, you know, you don't have to do that. But again, you can create more than one card on this. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the woman who did the holiday or she did the Thanksgiving, the um, Christmas and the um, Valentine's Day card. So you can kind of do all of that stuff. So this is a super cute card. I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and do this one again because usually... <laughs> Usually, I do a photo card on the front, but as I've already shown you, I'm not that huge of a fan of the um, photo card, <laughs> the photo, the one and only family photo that I have. So here's where you get to pick your options. Now, it's going to default to your two-panel standard card, and that is what I use 99% of the time. But if you wanted to create, like say, since this is to my family and friends, maybe I want to send a huge card and that's going to cost an additional $1.50 per card. Maybe I want to do this in a satin or pearl finish that's going to add an additional 50 cents per card as well. So depending on how big your list is and depending on really what you want your card to look like, this is the place where you can go ahead and pick whatever you want to do on that. Okay. I'm just going to leave it at the two panel standard. I think those are great. Um, you could do a flat card if you are used to sending out, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're used to sending out kind of those cards that you create on like Shutterfly or um, Costco, Sam's Club, that kind of thing, you could do a flat card and that would be the same sort of theory where it's just the one card and then put into an envelope of five by seven card. Uh, so that's a really good option. But here's the thing. There's no cost difference between the flat card and the two panel card. What I love about sending out the two panel cards for holiday is that you never know how people display it. So for, for me and my family, we have the sideboard in our, um, dining room area and that's where I always put up all of my cards. So when I get a card, I set it up and all of the two panel cards that I get, I set up and then you can kind of see them and look through them and all that good stuff. But then all of the flat cards I get, I have like a little holiday basket and they go in there. So I kind of like doing the two panel card because they're a little bit easier to display. You never know how people how people do tend to use it. So that's just my personal preference. But again, you can pick whatever, whatever you want to say, whatever statement you want to make. It's all good here. So if you have a photo on the front of this, you're going to go ahead and click on that photo and add that now. And I'm going to add a photo on in the inside left. So we'll walk through that process together anyway. But so here, right here, this is where you've either got I can start typing my message because this is all text or I can change my layout, which is what I'm going to do. And so in this one, I am going to change it to that layout here. And then I am going to go ahead and use that family photo and put that in there. So again, my images, I've got a ton of images on here, and um, but if I wanted to upload a new one off my computer, I would just click upload photo and go from there. Uh, now I can scooch this around. Actually, I kind of want to scoot it over here so you can't really see me, <laughs> but I won't do that. Um, so you can scooch it over here. You can make it a little bit bigger. You can make it a little bit, I'm going to make it kind of smaller, I think. There we go. Um, Okay, and then in here, I'm going to go ahead and type my message. Um, okay, so I went ahead and typed my little bit of a message. Now, if I want to change that font, which I do, I can go ahead and highlight that. And then over here, you've got all your different fonts. So as I'm doing this, hopefully you are on your computer. The whole goal of this is that while I'm doing mine, you can be doing yours. That's the whole goal. Again, don't hesitate to ask any questions in the Q&A box if you're on the live webinar or on the Facebook um, comments on the webinar if you're over there as well. So, um, you know, so again, if you're a seasoned send out card pro and you don't need to, you don't need me to show you how to change the fonts and things like that, then this is your opportunity to just be doing your 
card. And if you're brand new to send out cards or you barely ever use it, this is your opportunity to, that I'm going to show you every step so that whatever step you have questions on, hopefully we answer those questions. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my font. And I kind of like this one. But I'm going to hit that. There we go. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to do kind of a true red. And um, <clears throat> notice for our holiday webinar, I did choose purposely a red sweater to wear. <laughs> we got to get in the holiday spirit, right? All right. So there's that. And then... Yes, Christine, I will do that. I will send you that. Um, I should have, oh, I do have your email from where you registered for the webinar. So I will send you the Excel spreadsheet for sure. And so over here now, I'm going to go ahead and type my message. Now, I did not type my message out on the computer. I actually just wrote it down in my notes as I prepared for this webinar. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that. Now, on this section, this is the, where you can put your, um, uh, okay, so let's say two things. So right here is where you can either put, I'm going to put dear family and friends for this. Now, if you don't want to put dear family and friends, if you want to actually insert people's name into this so it's personalized, there's a different way you can do that. So instead of dear family and friends, we're going to delete that and then we're going to type out dear and then space and then we'll come over here and you can pick first name, spouse name, or you could do first name and spouse name. So we'll do that one and family. So I like to add the add family because that's almost always relevant. They're either going to have kids, they're going to have a pet, they're going to have somebody. So now here's, that's one of the things that you can do. And I will probably leave that like that for my family and friends because I know I have their names, spouse names. I know all of that um, is updated. However, there's a couple of things that you have to be aware of. For example, when I create this campaign and I send this to my entire family and friends list, which is probably about 50-ish people that I'll send to, um, for example, this will go to my mom and dad. So it'll say, instead of dear mom and dad, it'll say dear Vicki and Larry and family. So I don't really want that to say that. So I just kind of bring that up because there's a couple of different options there. I did have one year where I sent this out where it said first name and spouse name. And um, the, uh, then I found out that one of the people that I sent it to actually went through a pretty bitter divorce right before the holidays. And so, you know, I mean, she didn't say anything about it, but I felt bad. So ever since then, I've kind of hesitated to do this. But in the family one, maybe that's a good idea. Okay, so, but for me, I'm just going to put dear family and friends. Okay, so go ahead and type out your message or copy and paste it from wherever you saved it if you did come um, prepared and have that saved electronically. So this is the time you'll want to create that message. Okay, so there's my message, and same thing over here. I'm going to go ahead and also use that same red color, 
and use something that's maybe a little closer to handwriting. Now, I do have my own personal handwriting in here, and I have definitely used that um, many years. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Now, here's the great thing, too. If you don't have your signatures or your handwriting uploaded, that's okay. Just choose one of the standard fonts, and then you can sign this, um, and then you can just change the... Uh, you know, you can kind of change that to look like a signature if you want to do that, okay? But I am not going to do that. I'm going to come in here. I've got these signatures. Now, I do have signatures for all of us in here. So I'm going to do my name, hit a couple of spaces, then do Mark's signature, hit a couple of spaces, Madison's hit a couple of spaces and Sophia. So I have all of ours on here. So then I'm going to highlight it. You can kind of see it's a little bit small. And when you create these on your computer, the um, signatures always are a little bit small. So you definitely want to come in here and make your signatures as big as you can. Okay. So I'm going to come in here and maybe put, oops, we don't need a period in between each one. We'll just kind of do that. There we go. Um, Yes, Christine, great question. I can definitely show you how to do the signatures. Um, so if you don't have your signatures uploaded, here's what I will tell you. It does take from the time that you create the signature sheet and then send that into send out cards. Um, it takes usually about a week or two to get those uploaded. So for your holiday cards, if you do them right now and you have those submitted before Thanksgiving, you should be able to go back in and edit your campaign to put your signatures into the system prior to, you know, and have enough time to send them out prior to Christmas and have them get to everybody. So if that's something that you're going to do over the next couple of days, I would say definitely go for it. Um, but if you don't think that you're going to get around to sending that in, and it's really easy, you print it off. I'll show you in just a second here because that's actually, that's a great question. Thank you for that, Christine. Um, so if you have, um, you know, like if you have the dedication where you're going to print it out and send those in, then definitely do it. I think it's a great idea to do your signatures. Um, depending on what package you have, you may already have that purchased or you can purchase that um, in the send out cards shop for, it's only $49 and you get all of your handwriting and then four signature lines, which is pretty awesome. And obviously I've been doing this for a long time. So I've purchased um, quite a few signature boxes over time. So I've got a lot in there, but um, so this, I'm actually going to do that also in the same red. And I think I'm going to come up here and change this to green. Uh, maybe just to change it up a little bit, kind of red and green Christmas colors. Of course, this is us on the beach. But again, you know, hey, that's my, <laughs> that's my one and only, right? So here's our signatures. And so I've got my campaign the way that I want it to look. And so then I'm going to come back here. Now, on the back of your card, if you're a new send out cards user or you've just never created the back of your card, it's actually going to default where it's going to have the return address, the recipient address, and the send out cards um, logo on it. If you want to change that, here's how you do it. You're going to come up here. So you're on the back of the card. You're going to come up here and right up in the upper left hand corner, you're going to have this little section called layouts. And on layouts, you're going to see I've got a whole bunch of layouts um, already completed. So I could pick one of these if I wanted to, or I can come in here and I can create a new one. So for this purpose, um, you know, you can pick any of these, but here's my recommendation. I had a lot of people say, well, I don't really want the return address and the recipient address. I don't think it looks as clean as having nothing up there. But let me give you kind of my super secret pro tip is that I really highly recommend, especially on your holiday cards, that you do use one of these options. And you see there's a ton of the different options that have the return address and the recipient address. Here's why. Um, you don't have to go in there and fill them out. These will auto-populate. So the return address is automatically going to be yours, and the recipient address is going to automatically be whoever you're sending it to. Here's why I say on holiday cards, it's a great big deal to have that on there. 
when people get the card in the mail, they start to get their holiday cards, what are they going to do when they open it? They're just going to tear it open the envelope. Most of the time, just throw away the envelope before they even read the card. Then they're going to read your card and go, oh, that's great. Now, here's the thing. If they are holiday card senders and we everybody – Everybody does this at some level. If they're holiday card senders, they're going to, you're going to get a card from somebody that maybe didn't, you didn't have their address already, or they didn't make your list for whatever reason. But then once you get that card, you go, oh, well, I want to reciprocate and send them a card. Well, a lot of times if you've already torn open the envelope, maybe you've ripped their um, return address, or maybe you already threw it away. Or I know for myself, I find it kind of annoying that I have to keep this ripped up envelope and, and put that in a little stack to make sure that next time I'm sitting down and I can send them the card. Now, since we have send out cards and we have the send out cards app on our phones, we know that literally I would sit there because I will already have my campaign done. If I got that card as a send out cards user, I would look down, I would go on my app, I would pick the campaign, I would type in that address and it would be done and I would throw that away. But if you're not a send out cards user, then um, you know if your recipient is not using send out cards, then they get it and then they have to save it and all that good stuff. So it's kind of nice you have the return address on the back of the card so that they can throw the envelope away and not worry about it and then have that address there. So that's my super secret pro tip for what type of um, back that you choose to use for your um, holiday cards. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and actually just pick one that I already have um, created because why not? All right, well, I'll just use, I'll just use this one for now. That's fine. This is going to family and friends. This one is just one that kind of has my little um, social media stuff on it. So it's kind of fun. Why not? But you can create one that's super specific to your holiday cards. And if you wanted to create kind of something fun, you could go onto a website called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com, and you can create something in there. Or if that's something that you want help with, I do design some of those and I only charge $25. It's super easy. So if you want me to design a picture for you on there, just um, send me again an email at cardeveryone at gmail.com and let me know that you want me to design something for you. Um, just make sure you attach any photos that you want me to put on there as well. Okay. So I've got my card completely ready to go. I've got my front. I've got all of this good stuff in here. I've got my back the back of my card chosen. So I'm going to go ahead and just click once you've got everything complete there. You can see on the bottom right here and just click add to campaign. Okay. So that's going to bring that up. As I wait, there we go. Now, if I wanted to do another card, this is where I would do this. If I wanted to add a... Um, a Valentine's Day card or even a 4th of July card. If you really want to be proactive on your card sending, you could do that here. But for now, we're just going to save this one card and call it a day. But before we get out of this area, what I want you to pay attention to is up over here on the right hand side of your computer is you have some different options, okay? So we have this set up to send immediately. We have it as the two panel and the standard, but we can come in here and make some changes if we want to. So on here, now for my um, Christmas and Happy New Year cards, here's what I'm going to do. Now me personally this year, uh, I am going to send these out early because I'm going to be out of town for kind of a chunk of time in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I'm going to send these early so that when people start to call or text or whatever, I will be, you know, in town and engaged. Uh, so that's kind of fun. So that's what I personally am going to do. However, for the most part on my other um, campaigns, what I did is I set these to send on a specific date and I'm sending them a little bit later in the season. But because this one is family and friends, I kind of have a, a goal of mine personally ever since I joined Send Out Cards to kind of be one of the first uh, people to hit my family and friends mailbox for their holiday cards. It's kind of fun. And the reason is because before Send Out Cards, I was the worst, absolute worst at getting out holiday cards. That whole process of 
handwriting everything and stuffing them in the envelopes and you know, then handwriting the blah, 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 whatever, like, I don't even want to go through it. It causes me stress. <laughs> so and that's why I joined send out cards in the first place. Like the first, when I first joined send out cards was in July. And then that year I actually created my holiday cards in October. I was so proud of myself. And then I set them to send out on December or no, November, like 27th or something like that. Cause I wanted people to get them like by December one. And I got an overwhelming response from people who were like, I can't like, is this really even from you? Because usually we're getting your Christmas cards like somewhere around January. <laughs> so, so now it's kind of like this personal little goal to get that out early, but here's where you would set this. So if you want to send these out um, a little bit closer to the holiday, this is where you would do it. Now, um, according to send out cards, here are your, your drop dead dates. If you want these to get to your, um, recipients by Christmas, if you're sending in the United States, you need to have these completed, completed and sent by December 15th. If you're sending to Canada, then you want one day earlier, December 14th. So if you have kind of a mix of Canada and United States in your, um, in your group that you're going to be sending this to, just figure December 14th is the drop dead date. And then if you're sending internationally, then um, the date is December 7th, I believe. So here's the thing. If you are on this webinar right now, if you're joining me live or you're watching the replay and it's before December 1, then I would say make sure, just get them out early. There's no reason to wait all the way till December 15th. But let's say you are doing this with me today and you're like, you know what? I've got most of my people done that I want to send this to, but I know I want to add some people to it. So before I, you know, have all of this go out, like I, I don't want it to hit people at different times. I want to make sure they all go out at the same time. Well, then maybe it's a good idea to kind of pick the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, something like that. Now, one of the questions I usually get when I do these live workshops, everybody wants to know how long does it take for a card to get from the time you hit send to, you know, get to your recipient. So here's the, here's the long and short of it is that it's going to depend largely on the, um, post office, wherever it's going. So I know for myself, I've noticed I live in Flagstaff, Arizona. We're a small mountain town in Northern Arizona. And um, we're a little, our postal service is a little bit slower than some of the major metro areas. So when I'll send out a campaign, sometimes I have it going out to people in Scottsdale, people in California, you know, wherever it's going, and then people in Flagstaff. And so inevitably I start to get text messages and phone calls and things like that from people who are like, oh, I got your card. Thank you. Uh, from my Scottsdale, California friends, uh, maybe a day or two before I start getting the responses from Flagstaff. So just keep in mind that up to a point, it's send out cards. And then after that, it's all in the hands of the post office. And it completely depends on the postal service in the areas in which you're sending. But for this, from the send out cards, for as long as it's in the send out cards portion, here's how this works. Basically, you put, you put your card, you send it out, everything goes into production at midnight and prints overnight. However, starting in December, they have constant runs on the printing. So it may not be until midnight, right? So you may click on send and you might have it send on December 5th. That could print at 10 a.m. in the morning. So this time of year, um, send out cards does an amazingly good job of making sure that they're, um, that they are keeping up with demand. Okay. So just basically figure that if you're having this sent out on December 5th, any changes you need to make, make sure you do it by, you know, go in there and create a change before December 4th. All that being said, what happens is that it goes into production, it'll print, then send out cards, stuff, stamps, all that good stuff. And then it goes into um, a big check, goes to the post office service. And from that point forward, it's all in the post office. Everything, um, the send out cards plant is in um, Salt Lake City, Utah. So that's where this all takes place. So your cards are mailing out from Salt Lake City. That being said, even though they're mailing out, everything is getting printed and mailed out from Salt Lake City, your return addresses are obviously going to be from wherever in the world you are. So no need to worry about that. 
Okay. So anyway, this is where you set your specific date. So once you choose your date, you're going to go ahead and click submit. Okay. Now, if I wanted to change my paper option, I can still do that. I could change it to satin or pearl. Again, that's a 50 cent up charge for each of those. I just leave mine on standard because I think they're fine. Um, and then here, if I wanted to add a gift, I could definitely do that. So if I click on yes, please, that's going to bring me into all of this fabulous, wonderful stuff. Now, I love my family and friends, but I'm not sending them gifts this year through send out cards. In fact, I almost never do because I'm going to see them and give them different gifts. But for my clients, this is where I come in and I add the brownies. But you can add um, all of these different great things. If you don't want to do brownies, you could do, you know, those are obviously um, something that they're going to eat and then get rid of. You could do something like, and this is taking kind of slow, but you could do something like this Be Grateful Magnet, which would be um, – a cost-effective gift that you could send so that people would remember you and all that good stuff. And of course, I don't know, the internet is not coming up. Well, anyway, <laughs> hopefully if you're on, oh, there it is. Okay. So hopefully if you're on your um, computer, you can kind of see all the different gifts that are coming up. So I am not actually going to choose a gift, so I'm going to hit cancel, but that's where you would put a gift in if you were going to do it. Okay, so now I've got all of this good stuff. Now don't hit either of these. Don't hit replace card or delete card because I'm used to kind of coming down here and clicking on save. This automatically saves your changes so you don't have to click. There's no save button, okay? Um, so don't hit either of those unless you indeed want to replace your card or what have you. Okay, so we're all done with that. So right here, we can either share campaign or send order. Well, right now we're going to do neither. So I'm going to come back over to, um, well, actually, no, let's go ahead from right here. I'll show you how to send these. And so if you're ready to rock and roll, you can send them right now. So if I want to hit send order, I'm going to obviously select all. Now, this is, I think, a cool new feature that send out cards didn't used to have. It used to be that if you created a multiple card campaign, it didn't give you an option. You either sent it all or you had to create a different campaign. So this is kind of fun because let's say you had one where you had five cards in here, but for a particular group of people, you only wanted to send three of the five or something, you could just select those. But obviously with one card, you just click select all. Now, don't get confused by any of these. What this means under create, yes, we've already created the card. Now we're creating the order. So that's why we would click on create. Okay. So here we are on create and this is all going to come up. And again, we're just going to verify everything. So now let's talk a little bit about price right now, and then we'll talk more about price in a, a little bit. I'll get a little more in-depth into it. The price of your card is going to be completely dependent on what subscription you already have on Send Out Cards. Excuse me. Sorry. I muted that so you didn't hear me cough in your ear. <laughs> So I am on the enterprise account, which is the 147 a month um, subscription. So that gives me a price of $1.75 per card plus postage. But when I send this out, um, depending now, since I'm scheduling it out, that is my price per card. There are some really cool add-ons in here where you can actually get, if you want to prepay up front, you can get your price per card down to either $1.25 per card or even 99 cents per card plus postage, which is a really super fantastic thing. So basically what you do, it's either to get it down to $1.25, you're going to pay, um, Oh, I don't have it up right now. I think it's six hundred. I think it's six hundred dollars. For six hundred dollars, you can get the price per card down to a dollar twenty-five. It gives you five hundred cards to send, um, or six twenty-five. That's what it is. And um, then there's another one that's a thousand dollars, and or I'm sorry, yeah, a thousand dollars. And for that, you get a thousand card send. So it brings it down to like just under a dollar per card, which is awesome. Uh, so that's where you would do that. Okay. And I'll show you that a little bit more um, later. So right now, though, we're going to go ahead and click on Add Recipients. Now, 
under ad recipients, remember, I, we created a group up front. So we don't have to come through here and individually select people. We're going to go to view groups. So under view group, I had put together my um, holiday. Now remember, if you remember what you named it, you can just type search. You don't have to scroll through each one. So if I do holiday, friends and family holiday 2018. So this is actually a group that I created for this mailing um, earlier, but for the sake of today, we're going to do this one. Um, and then we're going to click on done. So that will come down and it'll show you, it shows you I only have one recipient in here because we created this live on here. And of course we're picking on Jordan on this one. Hi Jordan. <laughs> but, um, so that's your option on that. Okay, so let's say I've got everything, I've got everything ready to go, I've picked all of my people that I want in my group, and then it's as easy as this, ready to send. So then this is gonna come up and it's gonna show me my price. Now, depending on how many people you're sending this to and depending on what package you're on, and all of that good stuff. So there's a lot of moving pieces to figure out your pricing um, to be the most advantageous for you personally. Okay, so that's why I'm just doing this as just sending one time one person. So then I'm going to go ahead and click on send and it's done. Is that easy? So if you were tracking with me this whole time and you just got to this step, then you literally just sent out all your holiday cards, give yourself a high five, <laughs> and you're done. Is that not like the best feeling ever? Uh, now, if you're like me though, in this webinar, as we went through things, I still need to add some more people onto here and all that good stuff. So here's what I want to show you um, about pricing. So let's take a look at that because inevitably, here's what I get. I get people who are going to, you know, who say to me, Jackie, okay, I have these cards to send and all that good stuff. And this is actually part of the fun of it because um, where the pricing options are concerned, again, I've been doing this for a long time. I share this with people all the time. So I'm super familiar familiar with the pricing. If you have questions, I want to invite you to reach out to me. If you're like, Jackie, I kind of need to know what is the best option um, financially for me. How should I send these cards out? And then what we look at is, okay, well, how many cards how many holiday cards do you want to send? So what are you doing for this holiday season? How many people are you sending out to? Okay, so that's the first question we're going to ask. The second question is, what are your other goals? Is this a system that you can see yourself using on a consistent basis? Um, you know, if you're on this webinar and you're already sent a card user, you've already identified what package you're going to be on. So then it also becomes like, well, is there a way to make it more, you know, a little, a little less expensive, a little more advantageous if I upgrade my system and all that good stuff. So in my live workshops, I literally go around from person to person as they're asking me questions and saying, okay, well, what's the, the most cost effective? And we'll, break out the cal the calculator and figure it out. In fact, um, one woman, it was so awesome. Uh, we figured out that with her holiday cards that she wanted to send, if she just sent them, um, she's an enterprise customer. And so she gets a hundred free group send cards. And so when we did this, she actually had Thanksgiving cards that were going out and she had those scheduled for like November 15th. But we said, listen, if you make those, um, you know, send out immediately, which when we did this, it was only a difference of two days. If you have them send out immediately, you're going to create those first 100 are going to go towards your free send. So we saved her some money there. Um, another person that I met with, we literally, we kind of looked at, she was on the $97 a month plan. And so the cost would be $1.75 plus postage for her cards, that she, her holiday cards that she was sending. But with the amount of cards that she was sending, number one, she was sending out about 200, two, I don't remember, it was over 200 cards. So there was that. But then she also said, well, yeah, I really do want to integrate this and start sending out different things for my, um, you know, to my past clients and really build my referral base. And so the phenomenal thing that we were able to do for her is because we were able to say, okay, if you want to also create a birthday campaign at the beginning of the year that will go out to everybody in your um, database that mails out like seven days before the birthday, you can schedule those as well. So we got her started 
on the Elite Plus, we were able to bring her cost per card down from $1.75 plus postage to $0.99 cents plus postage. So she was saving, and again, she was save, you know, sending to like 200 people. So we ended up saving her around $1.160 some odd dollars, $170, something like that. Um, I don't remember the exact math, but that, but I remember it was, it was a large, you know, that's a good chunk of dough, right? And so we were able to save her that money on those cards and then also give her a way that every time she was sending out a birthday card that she had scheduled out to her database, um, she was doing it for 99 cents plus postage, depending on where it was going. So pretty awesome. So there's a lot of moving pieces. I do also, if you're not familiar with our Elite and our Elite Plus packages, I really want to point you to make sure you, on your send out cards, um, go here to pricing and just check this out because you have either the Elite or the Elite Plus. And um, so it gets it down to the price per card that we just discussed, but you get some cool bonuses. So Christine, you may want to look at this because if you are going to be sending out either a lot of cards or again, you have one year to send out your 500 or 1,000 cards. And then something that you get in here is you also get the essentials pack, which is a $99 value. And this comes with your handwriting and your four signatures, and then also one of those purchase campaigns. Um, so this is a really cool option. So, so Christine, like this is something that before you pull the trigger on the $49, you may want to take a look at one of these. This could be a great option for you because you'll get those handwriting signatures, but you'll also get um, a discount on your cards. And, um, and then you also get unlimited access to the campaign stores. So all of this stuff, are, these are all things that I really want to encourage you to check out. So this is all going to make a difference in, in terms of how you get your pricing to be the most advantageous as possible. Now, all of that being said, I definitely want you to remember that one of the amazing things with send out cards, like, yes, can, you know, the question is, can we get the cost per card down as low as you would if you're ordering the ones from Costco? And the answer is no, we can't. The ones from Costco, I think they're like 35 cents a card or something like that. But here's the thing, you're ordering them in bulk and then you have to go through all the process. So this becomes a time versus money equation. It truly does. So with this, you saw, I mean, we just went through, we've been on this webinar for less than an hour. And if you tracked with me through this whole thing, you've got your cards set, ready, done, which is awesome. But if you are going to go the other route, so if you have more time than money, then maybe the other route is a good option for you, you know, to get them down to the 35 cents plus the cost of um, a stamp. So you're looking at 85 cents out the door, but you have to, you know, make sure you're uploading your order, getting everything set. Then you have to go down and pick them up or get them delivered to you. Then you have to open them up. You have to make sure you're stuffing, stamping, um, addressing each one, signing each one, uh, getting to the post office. I mean, that's a big, huge time commitment. So this, um, the whole point of this webinar and using send out cards to send your holiday cards is truly to take the stress out. So you're going to pay a little bit more for the convenience, but the stress level, I mean, come on, what is your time worth? To me, this is just such a no brainer no brainer, right? Like my time is worth, plus, like I said, before I started using send out cards and I would go that other route, I would have the best of intentions and I would get somewhere in the process, but I would never get it completed before Christmas because there's a lot of other busy things that you're doing. So I really want to encourage you just to take a look at this in terms of, you know, um, can we get, we can get your price per card down, um, as low as 99 cents plus postage. Okay. So that's, that's, great. And depending on how many people you're mailing out to will depend on what you're doing. For example, one of the people that were in my, um, one of my live workshops this past week, she's like, you know what, I'm going to send out to about 20 people. And she was more interested. She's like, let's just get this done. So she sat through the um, workshop 
we got her, she, we got her started. She was on the $17 a month and then it cost her $2 per card. Actually, she didn't get all um, 20. She ended up sending out like 15 or something like that. So it cost her 225 plus postage. But in the end of the day, she was like, I'm done. That's it. I don't have to think about this. I'm done. Um, she sent it out to her clients and she's like, I know that the clients that I've done business with this year are getting a holiday card from me. And that's all, you know, I'm, that's all I need. <laughs> so I really want to encourage you just to kind of take a look at what's going to be most advantageous for me personally. I am doing the elite plus. So what I'm going to do when I send out all, cause I've got, like I said, I've got like four different um, campaigns that I'm sending out. So for this first one, I'm going to send it out. I get a hundred free group sends every month. And so for this month, I've only used a portion of those. So I am going to send out my friends and family card immediately and have it uh, go against that 100 free group sends. And then for all the rest of them, they're going to get down to the 99 cents um, per card plus postage. So pretty excited about that. Uh, and that brings us to, let's go over here, a couple of different things that I want to show you. If we go into your campaign and you decide you want to change some items, you want to do something here, um, then I want you to come in here. You just open the campaign. It'll show you the card. You can click on edit and that's going to bring you over here where you can edit the basics of the campaign. So like when you're sending it, so like I'm going to send it immediately. Again, there's no save. It just automatically does it. Um, and then I can come in here and edit cards. So if I want to edit the card itself, I kind of, I go to edit, but then I have to edit again. Okay. So I can come in here. I can, you know, change my message, whatever I want to do. It doesn't matter. Um, and then you just click on update and that'll bring you here. If I want to add another card on here, I could do that. So there's a lot of different um, options that I have on that. Uh, something else to note on your campaigns, if you want to make any, um, if, oops, oh, come on. If you just want to check it out, you can view your items and come in here. You don't actually have to edit it. If you just want to come back and go, okay, I just want to make sure that the message is, of course, it's not, there we go. If I just want to make sure the message is right, but I don't necessarily want to um, edit it, then I can view it right here. Okay, so those are all some great things for you to know. Also, if you come into your relationships, um, something that I really want to note for everybody is that if you are under, so notice I'm under groups right now. So you can tell from right here, I'm under groups. If you come into the groups, um, you cannot add a new, this is where it's a little bit wonky right now. And I think eventually they'll fix this, but I can't come into groups and then just add a new group, but I can delete groups. Okay. So one of the things, if you wanted to, after you're done sending your 2018 holiday cards, you can delete those groups um, because you're, you, you know, you may not use that group again. You may wait until 2019 and send those out and then just kind of recreate them from there. So um, those are just some things to be aware of. So let me check really quick. I'm going to do a little Facebook check to see if we have any uh, questions over here. New, okay. So let me check my notes, make sure we're good. Okay, so we talked about the campaigns, the pricing, and getting everything sent. So that's where we're at, guys. If So we it took one hour of our time and we are done with our campaign. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to come up here and what I'm going to do is just um, stop recording. So if you're watching the replay, then here's what I want to say. Thank you so much for joining in today. And don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions. You can reach me at cardeveryone at gmail.com. That's one way to reach me. You can, um, you can connect with me on Facebook. 
Um, if you go on Facebook, just search your Facebook bar, the Card Everyone 30 Day Challenge. So you can ask to join that group and we can connect through that group. Um, again, that's the Card Everyone 30 Day Challenge. Or you can connect with me and just send me a private message at facebook.com forward slash card everyone. Okay, so those are some different ways that you can connect with me. So card everyone at gmail.com, facebook.com forward slash card everyone, or search for the card everyone 30 day challenge and ask to join the group. I will let you in. Okay, so that's everything that we have. I'm going to stop recording right now. Thank you so much for joining me. And I am Jackie Semerol Tate. And thank you again. Don't hesitate to reach out to me.